receive ever is fresh flowers will always be. And so it's therefore like my favorite gift to give to. And I think it's really fun and simple on its own. But one, I like, I also love making like vases or finding cool different ways to display them. So um, that's what I'm gonna do today. And I also have a ton of draft board kicking around that's already an eighth inch thick. I really don't like draft board, but I don't wanna not use it. So today I'm gonna make a laser cut vase out of it. This is gonna be a Mother's Day gift. And my idea here is to build this around a mason jar out of a stack of discs. The profiles of the discs will make the curve of like a classic vase shape. And I'm doing all the math for this by hand. Um, well, not by hand, I'm gonna use a calculator, but um, not using a slicing software or anything. I'm individually designing each disc. I, I just like it better that way. It feels like I actually did it or something. And each disc is two concentric cut circles. The inner one is gonna be four inches the whole way up the base. And then the outer diameter, I need to do a little bit of math on to figure out um, for each section of the design. So yeah, it's this equation, just up the whole thing and then each slice is an eighth inch thick. Uh, yeah. I did this on the whiteboard first just to get my th like thoughts out there and have a clear idea of the process I wanted to use before repeating all of this on the computer to make the actual patterns for all the discs. Here they all are. I lettered them too, just so that I'd be very sure I had them in the right order and I'm ready to laser cut them. Today, I'm using a new laser cutter. Well, new to me, this is the longer 10 watt diode laser cutter. I'm starting by just cutting one disc on the draft board to be sure I have my settings right. Um, I think I went with a uh, 90 power and like 10 speed or so in three passes. And I got a really clean result. I'm really happy with it. And with that, I felt comfortable going ahead and cutting all of these discs. There were a lot of them. I didn't actually count, but I went through the alphabet uh, two times and then there was triple A, triple B, triple C was the very top disc. So however many that is, that's how many discs. This was a marathon of sorts. And the, and the, the laser cutter handled it so, so well. I didn't actually do a prototype or anything for this one. I just went ahead and on my final material from the get-go. So before I glue this or even bother peeling the masking material, I wanted to just make sure that my concept worked um, on the jar. This is the, this is a standard ball jar, but it's the like larger one. If you can picture it, because I was thinking for flower vases, this would hold more, but um, I might design one for a smaller ball jar too. Um, and you'll notice as I got going, I ran out of the draft board. So I started cutting poplar discs too. It's another one of my least favorite materials to work with. So I don't know, I kind of like that this turned into like the graveyard of my least favorite materials. It's kind of fun. It's kind of gives a, a deeper meaning, you know? I don't know what that deeper meaning is, but it feels poetic or something. The look reminds me of a thrown pot, which is, you know, unexpected, but very welcome. And more importantly, the shape I'm super happy with. So that means it's time to go ahead and assemble it. Most of this had masking material already on it. I wouldn't have bothered probably adding it at all otherwise. Um, but I do love the crisp black edge it gives to be honest, like I really do like that. So I'm glad, even though this took quite a bit of time before the fun part when I can start gluing it together. To actually get this together, I think I can use the mason jar to keep it all square. Um, but the problem is like, we're gonna go alphabetically and A is a little 
A close-up will show this better. The jar taper is in at the bottom, so it's not gonna uh, snugly hold it square for the first couple of layers in comparison to the ones, like as we get building, it will hold it like that. So to start building this, I stacked it on top of other pieces. And then I'm going in with Starbond Thick CA Glue. This is going to give a snug fit and also uh, dry really quickly. So this won't have a chance to shift around on me as I get stacking. I'm spraying each ring that I stack on with activator. Uh, so it's pretty much an instant bond the second this hits the ring below it. As the pieces of draft board started getting stuck together, it actually has a really nice finish feel and hold to it, which is something I care a lot about in projects. Like it has good weight, like it feels nice, uh, which is cool. All right, it's time to build the rest of it. I think it came out super cool. This is gonna be such a great Mother's Day gift. And I don't know, I like it. I like it better than anything else I would've made with draft board. And I actually kind of liked the mismatched material a little bit. It looks, it gave it some texture, which was kind of cool. I liked it.